Good morning, class. I am Oketa Patrick from the Physics Department of Veritas University, Abuja. Today we shall be doing an experiment, a simple harmonic motion experiment, simple pendulum. The aim of this experiment is to find the relationship between length and period and also to determine the acceleration due to gravity, G. The apparatus needed for this experiment are vector stand, the cork, the thread, the ball, stopwatch, and two meter rows of one meter each. Now, why we need two is because one meter is 100 centimeter and we will be needing up to 120 centimeter for this. So with that said, the first thing we do is to tie the bulb to the thread and also to the cork and hang it on the right stand as shown this way. Now our first length will be 120 centimeters and we take 20 oscillations for each set of the length twice that is T1, T2 so for us, since 1 meter rule is 100 centimeters for us to get 120 centimeters we need to set one on the other in such a way that the total will be 120 so I set it on line 20 so from here to here, we give me 120. So I now take it to the bulb and make sure that my bulb and the meter row are lapped together. Then I set it on here. I now roll it so that it will give me the exact length needed. So after rolling it to that point of 120, I will now set it through a small amplitude to give an oscillation. Now when you leave it, the oscillation will first of all be in a circular form. So you allow it to go to oscillate for some time until it becomes linear. Once it becomes linear, you can now time using the stopwatch and take time for 20 oscillation so we are starting so i press one two three four five so i stop my stopwatch at the 20th oscillation which is giving me 44.09 seconds. I have my table drawn out. Which is made up of length, time T1, T2, T average, period, and the period square. That is T, capital T square. Now, on T1, I record 44 Point zero nine as my first time. I will now go back and take repeat the same thing for T2. So I allow it to go for some time. I now start again. One, two, three, four. Five twenty. I stop. I'm having forty three point six zero second. I record it again forty three point six zero second. Now, after that, I will now adjust the thread to one meter. I will now adjust the thread to one meter. The meter rule is one meter, so I need to adjust it to give me one meter while it collapses. So 
this is my one meter. I now repeat the oscillation taking T1 and T2. One meter is 100 centimeter. So I now repeat my oscillation to take T1 and T2 and record my reading. After that, I move to 80. I place this on point. Point 80 and point 20 of this meter row are on the same line because the meter row is a two sided meter row. So I place this on point 80 and adjust this. I now adjust it so that it will give me 80 length. After which I will take my oscillation T1, T2 and also adjust it until I get to point 20 and also take my reading T1, T2. After taking the reading, I will now use that set of reading to complete my table by drawing out the uh, T average, capital T, which is period. The period is T average divided by 20 since we went for 20 oscillation. Then T square is that period square. After that, I have to plot a graph of N against T square and also calculate my slope. After which, there are questions to be answered. One of the questions after the graph is to determine the acceleration due to gravity using the relationship T is equal to 2 pi square root of L over G. We make the G the subject formula. Then, the next question is discuss your results. Stay two precautions taken while performing the experiment. Then, suggest better way that can improve this experiment and state your conclusion. Thank you and God bless you.